So we're here with Neil Robinson, President of Theodore Alexander, to talk a little bit more about the Althorpe Collection. Neil, this is the longest running license that Theodore Alexander has. What is it about this that gives it its longevity? We started in 2004, and I think industry-wide it's maybe one of the longest living uh, that you still see out there. And for us, it's authenticity. Uh, the product that you see here are direct descendants of the products that are in the house. And when you have that authentic story, you can have longevity to a product line. Good afternoon, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. We are here at the Theodore Alexander Showroom with Lord Spencer, who is here to talk about the newest additions to the Althorp Collection. Thank you for having us. What a joy, I'm delighted to be here. Now, many of these pieces are based on your family estate. Um, can you share with us a little bit of the, the history of the estate? My family's uh, historic home is called Althorp, uh, the name of this collection too. And we've been uh, living there since 1508, and I'm the 18th generation of Spencer to call it home. And over that time, we've accumulated uh, a, a very varied collection of furniture. And I was approached out of the blue about 15 years ago to put it together as a sort of licensed uh, brand, I guess. The first time they came to Althorpe, they w I let them loose for about three days, and then they reappeared with 10,000 images of things they wanted to work with. <laughs> We've produced about 650 pieces so far, so we've got a bit of a way to go. Now, are some of these pieces actual reproductions, or are they more inspired by? I'd say 60% are exact reproductions, apart from minor details. So a lot of the grander pieces, of the originals, were made for show only. And maybe somebody, a, a lady of the 18th century, would teeter on the edge of a sofa uncomfortably during a ball, uh, but now they're being used, so we've made them more comfortable, more uh, generously upholstered. And then the other 40%, we're very clear, we don't mislead anyone, we tell people what it's inspired by. One of my favorite pieces we're producing this time is called the Painted Room Chair. It's a fantastic piece. They're big, green, uh, sitting chairs with gold flying lions on the side. I never thought I'd see that reproduced and see it work, but they've, they've pulled it off. I noticed a few minutes ago as we were setting up, you were looking at some of the pieces and you were looking for something specific. What's particular about the Althorpe Living History Collection is its direct connection to the house, the historic house of Althorpe. Each one has uh, an Althorpe stamp on it somewhere. And in, particularly in the cabinet work, uh, I always check in the drawers because on one of the central drawers, it, if you open them, it'll have this big chunk of metal which is my family's coat of arms in it. And that to me is the, uh, the authenticity of the piece really. I, I, you know, in many ways, when people are buying into this collection, they're buying a sort of instant heirloom. And that is the, the rubber stamp that they've got the right thing. My understanding is this is, in fact, a former member of the family? I've always been a bit softy about dogs. Yes, these are two of them. And in fact, one of the standout pieces, the, almost the, the, the cipher of the piece uh, collection, is, is, a, is a wonderful life-size bronze of Forager. Now, Forager was my family's favorite foxhound in the 1890s, and he won the national competition. I don't know how many dogs entered the national foxhound <laughs> competition, but he won it. It's been used by thousands of people over the generations to just sit on between taking a shot at the billiard table. So, uh, you know, it's very exciting for me. When I come here, I can see things that have a particular connection to me, but they're in a totally different setting, and yet they still have this ring of authenticity. To see my family's taste from hundreds of years ago being replicated, and more particularly being enjoyed, that is quite nice. Thank you so much for your time. It's a great pleasure. Thank you.